We're back again, Pete. Toss a coin to your witcher. Toss a coin to your witcher and... Toss a coin to your barman. Toss a coin to your barman, are you damn well pleased? So we are back again with three half measures of ours. Hello. Um, just to Just to be clear that we're not tanking all of these booze items. Uh, but we're, I don't know what that was, that was weird. Booze items, booze items. I think you pretty much proved your, your own point wrong there. Yeah, I did that. I'm not convinced anyone there, have I? You so we're, we're back again with three, uh, again this oh. is part of our short, medium or long series of, of, uh, of whiskey tastings that we're doing, not, our, not included with our virtual whiskey tastings, which we do with you guys. Uh, these ones are just us having a dram, letting you know what we think, and it's all ones that are available in the bar for you to pick up at literally any time you Your own please. leisure. Yeah, we have wee bottles. You can pick we have wee bottles, you can take them in, you can take them away, you could, yeah, drink them, I don't care. I don't care where you drink them, <laughs> as long as you enjoy them. Yes, <laughs> that is the main point, is people enjoy so, these whiskeys. So we're starting off with one that we've had in the bar for a, a, a long while, actually. It's, it's probably been overlooked. Um, yeah, it, which, well, it's, it's a shame, really. Partly because it's a blended. It is a which blended. Which a lot of people whiskey. won't appreciate, because they're like, oh, blended. Mm. But there's nothing if it wasn't with for our blend. blends, we would not be able to drink the fantastic selection of single malts that we are able to these days. Right. So, so, and this is called Timorous Beastie, which it's, is it's obviously which is great. A, a, a Burns reference. Absolutely, yeah, it will be. And okay, I, okay, thank you very much. So yeah, this is a, a Highland blend malt Scotch whiskey. Um, it's it's just. It's a, quite a nice one to be honest. It's a heather, honey, and Highland character, so it says Highland character. Highland I've known a few Highland characters exactly, yeah, in my yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. They this, tend, that tends a, to mean mentalist. So it's a Douglas but, uh, Lang one, who have some really quite lovely bottlings. They've got a scallywag as well, which is named after the. Uh, it's a wee dog, isn't it? Yeah, it's named after the dog. And, that's and this a is a wee moose. Oh, there you go. The original so, uh, Timorous Beastie immortalised in Robert Burns' famous Scots poem to a mouse. It was a timid little field mouse echoing our nation's bard's wit. There you go. So it's all be Quite Burns. frankly, if it's about Robbie Burns, then just love it. Here we go. This non-chill filtered vatted malt is a marriage of Highland malts, including amongst others Blair Athol, Glengarry, Dalmore and Glen Goyne. Those that are explains some, it. That, those are some... Uh, Cracking categories, really. Yeah. Really, Glengarry is our most local distillery, Old Meldrum. Shout out to there. Uh, Glengoyne is lovely. The Glengoyne cast strength oh, has been pe- has literally kept me yeah. sane. Kept, kept me, kept me sane, which proves a point. It's, uh, it's not me, quite there. It's kept me sane over these last three months. Uh, we called it Pete's medicine for a while. Uh, the nose is overridingly sweet initially, then warming to floral, white barley, and spicy honey tones. Let's see if that is true or if it. Well, I like how we read that out after previously stating we don't read any of these. Well, let's go. Let's see if it's, it's nice. nonsense or not. It's very, very light and nice little yeah. floral. Yeah, that's, that's the exact word I was just going to use. It's got a very floral nose to it. Oh, it's very light. So it's what? It's what my mouth would describe as peely wally. You're peely wally. Not that my mum drinks whiskey. It's a god fearing woman that she is. So that's got a, 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 a wee burn to it, but it's not bad. It's not. Um, so it's probably sitting in front of your face. It's that very, time. very. It will be sitting in front of my face the whole time. It's very, very light for being that mix of the still speed. It's, it's interesting with these blends when the name where they come from. You look at them and you go, Jesus, do, like do you get do you get any of those flavors from it? Do you get one that you typically do you get a flavor from that I'd you think pour that in, I'd pour that in a big peat to water? Do you know? Like? <laughs> <laughs> but like, I I mean, the closest I'd say from that, it doesn't taste anything like a Dalmore. Yeah, Nothing, I, and I know it's all mixed in, so it's really not massively relevant, but. You'd like to think you get some sort of taste from these. And I say the biggest, strongest taste oh. I get from that is maybe the Glengoyne, which is lovely. It's not an insult it's, by any uh, means. It's, oh, what's the word? Cereally? Cereal? It's, it's, In the last you video, that, you mocked me for not saying it's serious properly. No, cereal. As in, yeah. like a cornflake cereal. Yeah, not killer. Not series. Unless it's like a Kellogg's mass murder. Well, there you go. But this is a wonderful word that I've spotted on the back of this bottle. Look at that. I uh, believe oh wait, that. I, sec- I, give me a second. I here. believe that says fructiferous. Oh, I'm going to need a minute to look at this. 
It's fru- Let me get my very focus on. Fructiferous. God, it does say fructiferous. God, I can't see. You can't hear? What? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, that does actually say fructiferous. I, I don't, fructiferous. I don't think anyone's going to read that on there. But and it'll be backwards, right? No, it might be forwards. I think it's going to be forwards. We'll find out. Cool. Uh, uh, fructiferous. Yes. If anybody knows what that means, feel free to message the bar and let us know, and we will mock you accordingly. Yeah, because no one should know what fructiferous no means. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get through it because I want to get to the last one. I don't care. You're just so excited for the last one. Aren't Absolutely. You? I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm gonna be stopped straight up in the table. I'm sorry. Gonna, I'm gonna I be. Let's knock the camera down a little bit. It has you bell end. I'm sorry, I'm going to be straight up here. Uh, these two drams that we're going through are very, very nice, but uh, I don't care because I just want to drink the third one because it's my. It's just. Oh, I can't wait. Can't wait. Sorry, can't wait. I, I am currently adjusting the camera, so I have to re record this. I'm adjusting the camera because I'm one of these idiots that does this all the time. Let's knock down the camera. Yeah, if you're drinking around me. I will probably start there playing Wipeout. I should be all right there. To be honest, you like it was a technical, it was a technical fix. But basically, what I've done is I've got to take my phone to the table. Cool, good work. And I, I think that seems to work okay. It's because I, I'm attention. Yeah, because you're getting a bit excited about the last whiskey. I really, 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 I'm, I'm super happy we have it. I'm super happy I've gotten to try it. I'm super happy it exists in the world. And uh, and that's so, it, really. To the timorous beastie. We need a quick thought on that though before you get over excited about the next beastie. one. Uh, very, very nice if you like a it's blend. A bit nippy. If you, I didn't find that. I think it's a bit nippy. I didn't find that. So I, a what I would really say nice is blend, though. if you are a person who is uh, likes a grouse, likes a, a bells, likes a, a, a sort of blended dram, it's a high you end. might want to try that. Yeah, it's, it's a high it's, end version of it's it. It's tasty, 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 really. But Actually, we've got that price marked to six pounds. That's the way it comes down. I, it was going to come down before all this Good. nonsense started. That's the way it comes down to either four fifty or five pounds. So I, I, I think that's a tasty dram. And you know what? If you're paying three quid for a for a bloody grouse, then what's a pound fifty? Two pound more for that? Really oh, that's like much that. nicer than that kind of blend, really. And, and uh, it's, it's certainly it's something uh, I think I mentioned in one of the previous videos. You know, if you if you like a whiskey and coke, I know there's too many people going around going, "Oh, you like whiskey and coke? You're an idiot." Well, who cares? Punch them in the face. Uh, if you like whiskey and coke, and you like blends, a, gra- I like a grouse and coke, in, in, something um, like that cocktails. will only enhance your. So we did a few monkey shoulder drink. cocktails, which I think we spoke about in one of our virtual clubs, uh, whiskey clubs. Um, I think so. I might not, but I don't know. I can't remember. Um, but we did cocktails with monkey shoulder because a rusty nail with a monkey shoulder is really nice. And I would imagine I've not had it yet. I will probably very soon. Uh, um, uh, rusty nail with a timorous beastie would be pretty tasty because the I, sharpness would definitely go once you add the drum beauty. I think. Oh. I do think occasionally. I think that uh, that's that's a market. I, I I believe it's a market thing. Like so, yeah. Monkey shoulders, mm. good cocktails. But it's a blend of whiskey, so a lot of your whiskey. Connoisseurs are well, gonna, that, but then that sums up. Are gonna, are gonna, are gonna be like, oh well, it's not single malt, it's a blend, blah blah blah. So we spoke about in the last video about their po- fight. Pork they're, being a blend. They're, though, fighting, and they're fighting who they're who they're marketing to, really. Yeah. You know, like uh, take for instance, you're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, you're gonna go for this one. Go on then, go on uh, then, go on then. Hey club. Oh, fuck off. Exactly. So oh, uh, yeah, so I'd also like my whiskey in a perfume bottle. But. In a in an Almani's pub like we're in, no offence, but it is. That's well, it. you're in it, so that looks really weird. But like, if you're in like a sort of trendy, fancy yeah. cocktaily bar, that's not going to look entirely out of place I on your gantry. It's a very it's fashionable look good. bottle, and I, chances are I have no interest in sport whatsoever. <laughs> but uh, I think I. Uh, because it had David Beckham attached to it, anybody who was interested in or not interested in David Beckham went, "Oh, it's David Beckham." But you mean he's the boy's not making it? He's not in. He's not in the drying house chucking the well, barley. Did is he say that? He's that, got his stupid that, face on it, and that that's it. That would make it better because now we stupid I face know, on it, and that's it. I actually appreciate. So we, I've now I've now seen a few drinks that are related to. 
So we're back on with that. Hey. Hopefully a, another technical hitch. We're not exactly professionals at this, are we? Uh, so we were speaking about the blends. Yeah, professionals with, at anything. No, that's be very fair. true. Uh, I don't know. We're professional whiskey tasters might not be a good shout. We're uh, okay, just whiskey tasters. Yeah, yeah. So we're sure. speaking about um, bags. Oh well, yeah, bands <laughs> that uh, 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 products with bands and people attached to them. Now I don't have a problem if they actually have a hand in making them. So um, we have the Pogues inside, which is. Shane Shane McGowan Shane McGowan which is a man you want to listen to about alcohol he or not stuff. well yeah okay fair enough or, but you know this like, isn't just something with their name on it this is something he's went and helped them there's also a Slipknot bourbon there's a Slipknot there's, there's a whole but bunch of stuff there's, uh, it was guys from the band that went to the head. Oh, yeah. Moorhead whiskey, but and Moorhead did, rum that I've tried. But did they both to, to develop it? I've got no idea. Well, well, no, I mean, let me slip, dead, well, so no, I that's what I mean. But Slipknot, some of the guys from the band went to the distillery and helped make it. They decided to flavor it. Things, yeah. And as we will find out in a couple of drams, there is a Ron Swanson or Nick Offerman. Nick Offerman, Ron Swanson from Parks and Rec. If any of you are, but he with went. That. To the, we'll get to this in a second. But he yeah. did go to the distillery and make it with them. So. If, like, your if, Crystal Skull Vodka's Dan Aykroyd, right? Well, the, uh, I'm actually no idea. Dan Aykroyd owns but Crystal Skull Vodka, does he, oh, and, he, and it's his own thing. Then that's okay, then. And also, uh, the Danny DeVito I, makes his own lemon chill. But then that's the issue I have with Hayes Club, is that Beckham didn't, wasn't involved in making He didn't he decide on a taste. Yeah, I'd actually respect it a little more. It all is in a fancy bottle with well, well, promotions. People, people have judged the whiskey by the face that is selling it, and that's but not that's the, fair. But it's, it's not, not but fair. But it's the point. If it's you're, basically, if it's, it's, your it's a grain. It's on a it. single grain whiskey. So if, it's if, it's your face if you ever it, then it should bloody be good. We're going to end up just arguing. We are, aren't we? We are, yeah, yeah. So it's basically Cameron Brig in a fancy bottle. Now, if you ever drank Cameron Brig, it's nice. You know, like, it's nice. But if but you're sticking your name it, on something, it should be good. Christ. Slipknot or put the name you, on a bourbon, and it's whiskey? good. What's your favourite whiskey? You take that off and toss in and Mussolini, like, like, was on it going, this is my favourite whiskey. You'd probably be like, meh, I don't really like that. Did you no. have a hand in making it? I don't know. Exactly. Maybe. No, but my point is, if you have a hand in making it, make sure it's good. Slipknot had a hand in making their bourbon. I've not tried it yet, but I assume it's pretty good. Shane McGowan had a hand in making the Pogues whiskey Did he? got inside. It's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, are you sure? Yes. Really? Yeah. You. I just drank it. I know you did. Nice. But this is the point. But if you if they have a hand in going, yeah, that's taste. Someone put my name on. Shane McGowan in it went Irish distillery. <laughs> There's no better place for him. I think there's a bit. lot worse. But like, like, but this is the fair. point of like, if you put your name on something, it it needs to represent you. It's a, well, it's the same with a lot of celebrity bullshit branding, to be honest. But the fact is, David Beckham was a was not the best face for a whiskey. But judging that, judging that stuff by the man that's on the advert is I not do, cool. Like, everyone you know, like, judges stuff. If, you, if someone has the pogues in the front, you're going, hmm, They don't have the pogues in the front. It's just called that. It's yeah, Irish but, whiskey. Yeah, but it's, 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 it, that's what I mean, though. But they helped make it. This is why I'm saying it. There's sli- loads the of really nice bourbon. Irish whiskey. Yeah, I know, but the Slipknot bourbon is something I look at the front and go, oh, Slipknot. And you'll judge it one way or another. Whether you like Slipknot or not, you'll judge it on that. And if you judge something on the fact that David Beckham's advertising it, then you've judged it. And this is a problem with it. I'm not done. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I don't know. Rather than trying it as a drama and being like, you know, that's actually not that. But I'm just proving the point that you do judge things by what's written on the bottle. And let's be honest, the last one in this selection that we're doing, you judged what was on the bottle, correct? Me? Yes. What was that? That one? Yeah. It was, it was because I, of what no, was no, written on the bottle. I, 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 no, no. I like all of the individual elements of what goes into that. Uh-huh. So why would I not like... But part of the mind? name is that you judged it on. Part of it. No, 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 no. I, I like the... Dist- Shut up. Anyway, right, cool. Right, so... We're going to move on to our second two, one, because right. that We're going to argue about this. That was a heated argument, wasn't it? Really was, it was oh, heat as it goes. What's really funny is we've been in the kitchen for 15 weeks together, and that's the most serious argument we've had was yeah, about yeah, fucking whiskey usually, branding. It usually just, just ends yeah. up in me shouting at that's bacon ridiculous and things though. like that. So this next one <laughs> is one that we were initially going to do for the in-house whiskey club that we had planned just before Armageddon oh, I happened. I don't remember that anymore. And uh, it turns out the world has fallen to pieces since then. We're all living <sighs> it's in a rubbish fallout. apocalypse. Rubbish uh, apocalypse. Worst but, uh, apocalypse ever. I don't know, like, it could be... Uh, yes, but it could be better, can not it? Really? No, you've got zombies. Really? Yeah, I would have just liked some time off. 
No. Get back to work. You know, you'd think the apocalypse would give you a couple of days off, but other than that. Uh, uh, so, so this next that, one. That makes me think I'm the apocalypse. You, so I'm not You, you <laughs> are <laughs> en sabaneur. That's what you are, en sabaneur. Anyway, the first one. The whiskey. Uh, this is, I believe, a signatory bottling of Ed Redour. Ed Redour was for a long time the smallest distillery in the country. Uh, I believe that might not be true now because some boys got, got you know, like a, a, li- a license to have a pot, literally a pot still in his garage. But uh, this was, Ed Redour was uh, well, a long, for a long time the smallest distillery with only one still. This is uh, Scotland's little gem, Ed Redour, it's called Unchilled Filtered Collection from Signatory. Ten years old. And it's darker than my own soul. No, it's not. Nothing's darker than that. It is, it's it's very close to it. Fantastically, yeah. uh, obviously, super, super sherry. And uh, this is one we were doing for the sherry monsters, and this is why, because you look at the colour of this, and there's no mistaking that for anything else but an absolute no, no, sherry no, no, monster. No, that is, that's, that's the dark heart of it. It doesn't even have the, it's got the dates on it as well. So it was uh, distilled on the 11th of December 2009, and it was bought on the 31st of January 2020. Yeah. So this is a, a, it's a fairly new one. You can see it in the glass, it's very, very dark. Its legs are beautiful. There are many, many droplets, but they, they're, they're, they're very, very nice. I, so this is, this is a nice one. I'm not gonna lie, it's one we tried before. We've obviously tried a few of these here. We God, love we love whiskey and yeah, we have whiskey available and we'll drink it. So super dark, sweet, dry, charcoaly, sherry nonsense. Up a bit. Sorry, I'm just trying to hello. This is a local bench for I'm local a, people. I'm a weird guy. You probably know that. Yeah, we're all well well aware. I know you just want to hammer through this and get to the next one. No, that's it's because I liked it. I, uh, I thought I'll do it. You're fine. Oh, I'll just turn them out. I like this. I sort of stare at them until they release their secrets to me. <laughs> <laughs> I think now we actually need it for lighting more than heat, which is funny because we've done uh, just the one video today. We're out in our beer garden that we recently have we're in the middle of refurbishing. Yeah. The thing is, we're out here because we don't want to, so the bar's fairly busy now with people taking away pints, so it's really difficult for us to do record any videos, we'd have to pause and go every time somebody came in. So we're out here because this is the only place we could socially distance from other people, so quite frankly it's too late for us to. We've we are. in a tiny little kitchen together for months. with each other for the last three months, so there's only, like, oh. I can literally only hang out with Darren. With, with each other is a, is a strong term, we're friends, let's just keep it at that. <laughs> I think I did that to you the last bit whiskey gone as well, didn't I? I can't remember. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so this is why we're sitting close in case anyone questions that. That is... This whiskey <laughs> confuses me. Ted, I am yeah. hugely confused. Why a It just... It's like this... I, I don't understand. Like, use your words. I can't, I can't use my words. So, I've tried a lot of whiskeys that are old, old, old and have this kind of sherry nature. Mm. But it's warming. It, you don't need those lights when it you've got is, this. It's like a... It's like a... I don't see, like, every time I say sounds derogatory, but I don't mean it to be. It's like it's tricking you. Like, this is the Admiral Akbar of sherry drums. This, oh yeah, this Ertra, is going to be good. This is going to be good. Ertra, trap. Be good. Like, like, it's just... I don't know, like... like if you've ever tried anything I like don't know, a, quite frankly. a single cask, uh, like some of the older Glendronics, uh, for for instance, like some of the, the, the single like the, cask, like the, like the Twenty One Parliament that we have in the bar. No, because that's not a single cask. Bar. Whatever, I'm just promoting uh, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got a Twenty One, like something like that, <laughs> or the single cask Glendronics, or anything that is like a sherry monster. It lingers with you. You drink it. It immediately, the sherry immediately draws all of the liquid, all of the saliva out of your mouth. It's dry and it lingers with you forever. Whereas this doesn't. And it's weird. And I'm not sure about it. I don't know whether but that's I found a that good thing the, or a uh, bad thing. It sounds with like. The very often mentioned banality. I didn't find it was too drying. Well, that's it. The and do, that, yes. that implies to me that. This is going for the, the, the effect of an old sherry bomb 
in a shorter space of time. Is that 10 years? It's 10, ten, ten years ten old. Year, yeah. Now, but how can something that's 10 years old be that colour? Other than if it's been... The work of gods and magic! If it's been... And now, I don't think this is the unchill filter done and all that stuff, so I would very much like to think there's nothing in that that's no, colour. Nat- natural colour. Natural colour. There you go. So yeah, that's it's probably not, a it's first, first fill, fill Chevy. Yeah, yeah. And, and, but it doesn't have that length. Now, feel free to giggle at me if you like. There's many things around here that doesn't have length. It doesn't have the... The, 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 the length of finish that I would enjoy from of something yeah, you that would. looks of, <laughs> that looks like that it's, it's what I'm trying to say yeah, sorry I'm very unsure hashtag a lot of water very thirsty today it's almost like we've done three of these in a row <laughs> 17 whiskey <laughs> uh, that's what I think about this one it's sort of to some degree what I thought about the gun Alahi Sherry bomb is that uh, it's like a show. Oh, I'd see that again. This sounds derogatory and like I don't like it, and I do, and I don't want to say it's bad, but it seems like a shortcut to a particular but point. But then the fact is, you want it to get to that point, so if you can shortcut and it tastes exactly the same and it's just as enjoyable, then really it's just the same. We, we said in the last video about this, I don't even. You put up a. Give a. 18 year old big electronic against that and 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 we'll try that in the next one no, you will you will see the difference mm, but that's 18 years compared to 10 and and that's it and, and and i understand where this might be cool like it's cool and i like it don't get me wrong it's a lovely dram it's a lovely color it tastes nice it's just lacking some of that uh substance if that makes any difference uh, it's a very nice dram. It's uh, it's a, a a nice. It's what's the word I'm looking for? It's uh, a fair fair price for a bottle. It's fair price for a dram. It's a nice. It's nice if you like these sherries, and that'll be it. But we've got a hell of a sherry cast collection. Don't expect days. like the like a uh, what am I thinking of here? Like a sort of Allardyce or a Parliament. Or even like a like Farkless or, or these kind of things that will stay well, with you for a long time. Well, that's after. a good example actually, because we do have the it's dissipates. We quite do have quickly. the twenty-five Glen Farkless. Like which, I can't taste and, that. And you look at the color, and they're very similar. The Glen Farkless is probably a little bit darker still, uh, that but looks really it, nicer it lingers. The, the Glen Farkless we've got lingers. I mean, and it is outstanding. Um, uh, Cause you and whether or not you bought a sip of that on a, one of the the Glen Farkless yeah, fifteen. Yeah. No, no, it's a twenty-five, wasn't it? Twenty-five. Yeah, like them. The, well, it's twenty-five quid. Maybe I don't. <laughs> I can't remember. But there's, um, an, there's an insane Glen Farkless inside I'd that, fight, like, that I'd, you and Hayden bought, I, and I was very lucky oh, to get a trial. I'd, yeah. I'd fight a man. I'd kill a man for a bottle of that. Like it a is. good, decent family man as well. <laughs> not like a not like a bad man. A good, decent family man. Murder him for a bottle. And of I'd go Farkless. home and sleep well that night. Cause Cause what you'd have that bottle of Glen Farkless. Yeah. Stunning. Uh, yeah, but it, no, it was it was lovely. But it, I, so that's a I find that's maybe that's, a bit of fair comparison that is, that's because the that's what I tried. Age and quality of wood stop it. Age and quality of cask. How old are you? How good you wood? And, and stuff like that. It depends how much I listen. Uh, <laughs> fucking, and and that that's the difference, you know. So you mean, and there you go. That's the, that's the difference in it. You could spend forty five quid on a on a really nice old dram and, and get that kind of feeling or you could have this and get most of it but you know and I don't know I just I guess I just it looks you can't judge a book by its cover do you it looks yeah. very nice but it's different to what you might expect is what it's see yeah whatever shut up oh come here there we go so this is what Pete was very excited about so this is obviously one that we briefly touched on about with celebrities uh, getting involved in whiskey. Now this is uh, this is a, a Lagavulin Eleven. I can't see the bottle because Pete's cradling Sorry, it. Sorry, you're shaking. It's eleven, isn't it? Oh, look, you're shaking. It's eleven, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah. It's an eleven-year-old Lagavulin from Isla, uh, as you might have heard of. Uh, it is the Nick Offerman edition. Nick Offerman plays Ron Swanson in Parks and Recreation. 
Uh, he's a character that some of you may be familiar with. He's almost a cult hero these days. He certainly is. He is a grumpy, angry man who drinks whiskey. Are you sure this isn't the Pete edition? I mean, he's got a way better beard than I can <laughs> yeah, yeah, possibly yeah. pull off. Yeah, that's Other true. than that, this is this man is my. But his character became famous because his character swore by Lagavulin. Yeah, and he and he goes fishes in Isla, and 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 so the distillery offered him to come over, and yeah. he would test casks, and he made his. And just so we're clear, this is what I support: a, a celebrity has put their name and face in a bottle, and gone. I will put, do this. It's just because you've got a Nicola Sturgeon bottle of whiskey upstairs, isn't it? She do you think she went to the no, distillery? She, no, just, it's not a Nicola Sturgeon whiskey. Biggin. It's a bottle of whiskey signed by Nicola Sturgeon. And we're leaving politics out of this. Do you think, bi- do you think Biggin... No, no, I'll go do this one, I'll get it. Do you think the Biggin went and tried all no, those ones? But anyway, she's not, I hope she, she did, quite frankly. She's You're just, amazing. I mean, uh, it's just signed, that's all. It's not. It's different. So this is Nick a brand. This is Nick Offerman brand. And uh, Ron Swanson is amazing. The character Ron Swanson is incredible. Nick Offerman is incredible. And there's every single... And there's nothing about him that I don't relate to. He also does a very cool woodworking channel, I believe, on YouTube. He makes, like, boats and things like that, doesn't he? He's a a fucking manly man. To get away from from the man himself, which is pretty cool. It's quite nice. It's like the Game of Thrones whiskey. And also, this is one you that might not was like not them, really but... released for the UK market. This was pretty much all shipped off to the US. We so... we were quite. Where did we get this from, Nick? Yeah, but I don't know if we're like to. Yeah. Right, cool. No worries. Uh, we got this from off the back of a lorry, <laughs> and uh, and uh, and it's lovely. So despite the fact it's that it's, it, we're fine. despite the fact that it's Nick Offerman. Uh, who is obviously a, a, a conversation I quite like because he's uh, ace. Yes, he's a cool uh, dude. It's Lagavulin. And Lagavulin is a whiskey that uh, you might have heard us talk about before, but it sort of, for me, stands alone. Uh, particularly in Isla, where uh, I've had uh, sort of situations in the past where people come into a bar I've worked in, they've gone, and I'd like something like Lagavulin. And I go, well, you'd be as well to have a Lagavulin. Because there's nothing quite like I it. think is similar to They're similar, to this. but there's not quite the same. This is sense. an eleven years old. It's forty six percent ABV. A stand your standard box standard uh, uh, Lagavulin is sixteen years old. Yeah. Which is slightly older than you know, you'll probably heard of a lot of distillers being like tens or, 10 or things to 12, like that. I think are probably the usual sort of, but uh, but sixteen is where they've decided okay. to uh, have their sort of entry level gram. It's 16 years old. It is uh, peated to, I'm not entirely sure. I'd be lying if I told you. It's pretty peaty though. But peaty in a very, very different way. Uh, it's the only one that I would say is very car- carbon smoke as opposed to a peat. And I know that sounds dumb. But like Pete, I will always think it is like that sort of TCP antiseptic kind of nonsense that you it's get got from far like a, more smoke to it from like that. a Laphroaig or things like that. This is uh, a bore uh, like a uh, a campfire carbon mm. kind of thing. If you've got a bond, like you know when you're sitting around a bonfire and then you smell your clothes and you've got that smoke it this is that's very much what this puts me in mind of and but this is no exception i think it's because it's the 11 it doesn't have the same as the 16. it's got no sherry it, I, I don't know what this is it's i don't think it's sherry i think no, it's maybe no, no, like no, a bourbon uh, or like a virgin oak maybe but i think it's it's probably a, a second fill bourbon or something like that i would say because it's, it's not got sweet m- yeah but it's not got much other uh, in it, like you know, it's it's, it's not really it's not strong of anything, I is it? Love that so much. Oh, but it's sweet, sweet smoke. Yeah, this is it. I mean, this is why it's, it's such a difference from the sixteen, which is just the smoky, as you say, the carbon. The sixteen from the the sherry, it's, it's, the sherry element of the sixteen mellows out that smoke, uh, and and that's the way it is. Don't know how mellow about. you would that would count. Sixteen's not that mellow. I think it's mellow. Right. You'd lick an ashtray. I've had lack of food in the bottle. I absolutely, I absolutely love it. Lack of food is incredible. I'm not. This is not. So again, this is one where we dive, uh, diverge on the on the taste because I don't like the massive like PE smoky one. This is a very nice, um, if exclusive bottling, but it's not as 
smoky P is a 16. The 16 you're going, holy shit, I've just licked tar. It's amazing, look at this. So Nick Offerman has said, I have traveled the world and sampled many attempts at pleasing nectars, but it is solely the distillation of Isla, a tiny charismatic Scottish isle that has claimed my palate, yes, and my heart into the bargain. Well, I can't really argue no, with that, that's, to be perfectly I'm honest. I'm surprised you don't have a tattoo of that. I'm quite, I, can't, no, but I, I was similar, but it wasn't like Bruin, it was uh, Arbeg that, 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 oh, yeah, that okay. dragged me into this. I was I, I was fully like you, I, the sherry bombs, that's all yeah. I wanted. And uh, you know what it's lovely. like drinking in pubs in Scotland. That's got like a nutty aftertaste, but nothing like what we had in like the last video, which was, uh, oh, maybe Stop it was the you. first one, it was the Kolila, the very nutty, Sherry uh, cat, yeah, but that yeah. that is just a little bit of a nutty aftertaste, but really it's just a clean oh, smoke. It's very nice, but it's not so strong as a normal sixteen. I would think you do need a moment. It's going to take this home. Yeah, yeah, I think you need a, a private moment with that. <laughs> Hands out your trousers. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, fantastic. Though. It's really, really, really nice. Yeah. So again, these are all whiskies we have on the shelf here. Um, if you have enjoyed our wee video, let us know. Uh, this is. Sorry. It's the third one we've done um, over the last few days. Yeah, uh, these are only small nips we're doing, so don't think that we have actually just gotten shit faced on. Oh, care what you think. <laughs> I do. I really do. Please, <laughs> but, don't, please don't be evil. <laughs> but uh, we've done these. So, quite frankly, we don't have the time to do it any other day. We're just yeah. It's, it's the issue is that we, we don't have a lot of time where two of us are off. We actually had a Sunday afternoon off together, so we thought we'd do a few of these videos. Exactly. Uh, people have expressed an interest. If you want to pour yourself straight. a dram and pretend you're sitting with us drinking, then yeah, that's, that's all good as well. But I mean, yeah, so we found that people seem to enjoy our uh, shenanigans when, when we're doing virtual whiskey tasting. So we thought, you know what, we'll do, we'll do a few small videos. Uh, on whiskies that we appreciate and are, are a bit different, and to show off what we've got here, we've now we've actually smashed over 150 whiskies now. Not us personally, the bar. We've now got 100. Yeah, all right, fair enough. Uh, not me anyway. We've now got over 150 whiskies in the bar, and uh, we want to show those off. And our virtual whiskey tastings are fantastic. We do that, but we thought we'd try this. See how it goes. So we record these three, probably release them this week, a uh, couple of days at a time. Give you an idea of what's new in the bar, really. Yeah, basically. So we've got a few new things. We've had a few old things. Not you. Um, <laughs> you certainly haven't. <laughs> and uh, if you have enjoyed it, please, please let us know, and we will do more. If you haven't enjoyed it, don't don't say mean things. We're, we're only human. Don't be we're sorry. Don't, we're sorry. Don't be. No, anyway. Uh, yeah. No. Uh, please let us know if you enjoyed this, and we will continue with it, even if it's if we have ten people who like this and we are happy to entertain those 10 people because quite frankly we don't entertain ourselves so you're pretty uh, I yeah no unless you're I singing. thought I was pretty funny in the last <laughs> unless you're singing to bacon in the kitchen That's I was pretty. singing to bacon in the kitchen the other day I apologise to bacon because I overcooked it Things are getting weird around that's here, guys. Why, that's, that, that's why we need to have a little bit of... Yeah, you know, so this is our way of... Uh, so, this is yeah. our only way really right now of pushing the whiskies because we have a, a, a great selection. But the thing about ours is, it's all a new collection. This is in the last year we've went from 20 whiskies to 150 whiskies. Since you employed me, right? No, you were part of it, but we started before you got here. It's not all about you. Stop picking at the table. And uh, so this is a good way for us to show it off. And our whiskies are pretty selective. Like, this is not ones that have been left over for years. The whiskies we've gotten in the last year are whiskies that we have selected. And it means it's a bit more. I'm really trying to avoid using the word selective again. Selective. It's a bit yeah. more selective. It is, but I mean, we. This is not just stuff we've had. We left. get stuff in that we enjoy, and we hope you enjoy, and and that's it. Yeah, exactly. So. And and we really want everyone to try them out. And okay. I think that light going off is maybe a good chance for us to say bye. We want to just smash it again, and we'll do a quick ta-ra. Um, another reminder, sorry, we've got the uh, I'm really virtual sorry, whiskey. I'm sorry, my bosses. Jesus Christ, no class, man. Uh, so we've got on our whiskey tasting that we're insanely excited for. None of today's whiskies are on it, but the ones we did shut up. The ones we did earlier in a different day. No one's buying us, are they? Uh, no, I know. The other two videos we did. There we've, you go. we've done all these today. Yeah, yeah, we have. Uh, so the other two videos we did do contain 
uh, whiskies that will be included in the next whiskey tasting. These ones are not, but they are available on the bar. Uh, we're looking forward to the next whiskey tasting. It's going to be incredible. Be a, there are some. Yeah, it's gen oh, genuinely, I'm so excited. Genuinely, the most excited I've been about all of the we've done through. This will be the third. This is the third one. virtual one, and about virtual the one we've done. Seventh. It's probably the most excited I've been about any of the drams for any of the whiskey clubs that yeah, we've done. Me too. I either, mean, it's, it's, it's uh, awesome. Either like you know, in person or or online. There's some really really cool stuff there. There's one if you checked out one of the other videos we've done is the Pete's Beast. It's something I've really, really wanted to try for a long time, and it's finally here. And it'd be, you know, you should try it because it's amazing. Uh, there's one that we haven't gone in uh, at the moment, but fingers crossed if it comes in, I will be genuinely just throwing the bottle at people well, because it's incredible. Well, hopefully by the time we post this video, it'll be in, and then people will are, are all... Yeah, yeah, shoot. Oh, we'll, we'll post this in a couple of days. Oh, uh, yeah, you yeah, got yeah. me really excited oh there. I thought, you mean, is it due in, like, right now? No. Uh, oh, Jesus uh, Christ, uh, Sorry, man. but it's going to be incredible, and uh, if you've enjoyed any of the whiskey tastings, particularly uh, if you if you like a Peter whiskey, there's a couple of absolute stars in this one coming. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, so uh, look out on our Facebook for that. And as we have... Mm, said a bunch of times if you've enjoyed this please let us know because we're only doing this because we hope people will enjoy it we don't do it just to drink whiskey although it's a pretty like happy coincidence really uh so yeah please let us know and, and thank come in, you again. come in and see us and and any of these whiskeys that we're doing you can take away with you if Absolutely, you like yes yeah. so you fancy your drum come see us yeah thank you, you very much a, a, a banner. oh i don't know about banner or, that's a stretch like just just to just, just, just please just dull the monotony. Please come oh, God, we're, every single one at the end of these videos are just us I'm being so sad. Lonely. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, folks. Uh, we appreciate you watching. Uh, we'll see you soon. Slam shoot. <laughs> That's not recorded. Then I've already seen that.